ओम साय राम दिस इज वेंकट फर्स्ट आशा डॉट कॉम श्रीडी साहेबा इज अ सेंट हु हैविंग ए पेक्यूलियर वे ऑफ टेकिंग डिवोटीज ऑन देयर स्पिरिचुअल पाथ वन ऑफ द ब्यूटिफुल थिंग अबाउट साय इज द वे ही इंस्पायर्स यू टू वर्शिप द गॉड्स एंड गॉडस यू लव हियर इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल incident i would like to share about tarkad family so tarkads are uh, a family from mumbai those days it was called bombay see they they learn about baba and they visit uh, the mother and the uh, son they both visit uh, baba uh, in sirdi those days they used to take train and come to kopargaon take a tonga and then come to sirdi and the mother had severe headache she had severe headache unbearable headache when she actually reached uh, i mean for the for past many years for the previous many years and the moment they stepped into dwarka mai they look at baba and feel really blissful and they prostrate in baba's holy feet baba takes udi you know handful of udi and and just forcefully applies that on the forehead of on the forehead of uh, tarkat's mother the his mother the moment baba did that the moment baba applied udi on her forehead the headache the severe headache disappeared from that moment onwards so the the mother and the son those days it is not that easy to allow a woman to travel but the mother and the son travel alone to sridi all the way from bombay and they go back and tell their experiences to father and uh, his grandfather eventually they all became side uh, ardent devotees of baba and once it so happened the tarkat the jyotindra tarkat are probably uh, the the grandfather i forgot someone who he visits it was britishers era during uh, you know early 19 uh, 1910 19 15 i believe so at that time uh, he goes in the tarkad he goes and walk in the chor bazar in bombay so there he looks at uh, gets in, gets into a shop and he found a britisher was uh, speaking to the shopkeeper saying that he wanted to buy a, a small idol of lord ganesha so it so happened that the tarkad was really impressed that okay the britisher wanted to buy englishman wanted to buy lord ganesha but eventually it uh, he realized that the, the englishman said that he wanted to keep that as a uh, paper weight you know those days lots of paper will be on the tables you know it's, and there used to be a weight you know paper weight so he was really humiliated tarkad he immediately said how can you use my god as a paper weight and he paid more uh, money to the shopkeeper uh, i believe 5 rupees more to the shopkeeper and bought the beautiful lord ganesha to himself and he brings the ganesha to the family to to his home and everyone were very really happy with this lord ganesha they feel blessed they feel they felt blissful and they worship this lord ganesha once it so happened that probably when they were doing holy bath abhishekam for this lord ganesha uh, they broke the, the the trunk of ganesha broke so they now they have already start became a sai devotee that is when it this is happening so the next time the the trunk of ganesha was broke and the next time when the tarkad family is go to sirdi they uh, prostrate in baba's legs and uh, when they get an opportunity they tell baba baba look at this uh, the the problem with that is we got a beautiful ganesha for ourselves and worshiping him but uh, the trunk of the uh, ganesha broke so what should we do with that should we keep it away throw it away from the home it should shouldn't uh, we felt uh, uh, atharas family should not keep a broken statue of any gods or goddess inside the prayer place baba immediately says if someone in your family uh, broke their hand or leg will you throw them away so immediately that tarkas realized their mistake and they pasted that uh, trunk on the statue and they continue to worship them that ganesha statue is still there in the tarkas family's home i believe and uh, i wrote an article about this uh, few years back so this is the crux of this uh, uh, of this uh, 
uh, message of this video. I believe you will love it if I also, uh, you know, uh, so this was a painting sent by a devotee called Santi back in 2015 and the name of the article said is I will love Sri Ganesh. I will read out the message for you, okay? Uh, Ganesh Chaturthi is on 17 September 2015. I wish you all happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Keep remembering Sri Ganesh and all the obstacles in your life will be warded off. Meanwhile, here's a beautiful cute painting of Sai Baba and Lord Ganesha by a devotee Santi. See this beautiful painting of Lord Ganesha and Sai Baba. I hope you like it. Beautiful, right? Now, I wish to share a very good story I remember about Tarkad family. Once Tarkad's, Tarkad's, the father of Tarkad, known by their family name, had been to Chor Bazaar in Mumbai. He saw a beautiful tiny Ganesh statue kept for sale in the shop. When he was about to pay, the, pay for the Ganesh, a Britisher said that he liked the Ganesh statue more and he will be ready to buy it for any price. The Tarkad, being a kind-hearted man, felt it's okay of, if a Britisher is showing so much divorce on Ganesh, devotion on Ganesh, and allowed him to buy the same. During the conversation the shop, with the shopkeeper, the Britisher said that he will be keeping that Ganesh statue as a paper white in his office table. Tarkad got furious hearing this and felt that our beautiful Lord Ganesh must not be bought by a Britisher who just wanted to keep him as a paper weight. The Tarkad told uh, the shopkeeper that he will be ready to pay more than whatever the Britisher is, re Britisher is ready to pay. Finally, Tarkad won the deal and he brought the Ganesh statue to his home. The whole Tarkad family loved this beautiful little Sri Ganesh. They did puja for him and kept him happy with the ocean. One of my friend contributed this beautiful Lord Ganesha statue worshipped by Tarkad. It is even there today. So, thank you for whoever has, uh, you know, captured this image. Beautiful, right? It is still there. Once the trunk of this Ganesh statue got broken, Tarkat, his wife and their son told this to Sai Baba during their next trip to Sridi. They wanted to know if they can, if they can keep the broken Ganesh of our worship or throw it, uh, throw it away. Baba smiled to them and told, if a member of your family lost a hand, will you throw him away? Tarkat family realized their mistake. They went back to Mumbai, pasted the trunk of the Ganesha to his head and continued to worship him forever. This Ganesh Murti is still happily being taken care of by Tarkat family. I read this Sai Lila in a book written by great grandson of Tarkat. It's, it, uh, it's such a sweet book. So I met a very beautiful, amazing author called Vinny Chitluri thrice in my lifetime. So probably in 2009, when I stayed in Sridi for 10 days, I met Vinny Ch Chitluri ji and that that day she gave, she gave me this book written by the Tarka, one of the Tarkad uh, family, probably the great, great, great grandson of Tarkads. So I felt really uh, blissful and I read this story in that book. Okay, one more uh, thing which I wanted to share with you, which happened today is a dream which I had uh, today. So I wrote an article about it. Dream of Saiwa statue in a temple with Agarbati smoke over his divine face. So I will tell you, instead of reading, I will just tell you what happened uh, yesterday. I hope you like this poster. Last, my mother has some ulcer or a kind of, uh, I mean, allergy towards uh, Agarbati, you know, the holy uh, sacred Agarbati, which we light uh, for the gods and goddess. So in our home, we, will, we never use... Uh, uh, Agarvati at all, but I like to light them when I go to Sai Baba temple. Yesterday when I was in the shop, I just saw the, the rack where they kept lots of beautiful Agarbatis and I thought of buying them. You know what happened? I thought, okay, again, we cannot light inside the home because our mom has, uh, is allergic to Agarbati smoke. So I just left it and came, went to Sai Baba temple and came home. So this night, uh, I mean, uh, last night I had a very beautiful dream. It was as if I'm going to a very divine temple. The temple was decorated, uh, you know, with wallpaper. And on the wallpaper, it was like uh, uh, lots of stars. I see lots of uh, the cosmic energy, kind of colorful wall. And I see a very huge Sai Baba statue. And in front of Sai Baba's face, I see smoke emerging and the smoke is coming from Baba's holy feet and near Baba's holy feet where they kept a bunch of Agarbatis and from there emerges beautiful smoke over his divine face. This was a very blissful uh, dream and experience for me and I had another dream 
in which uh, I feel I see you know my parents and myself uh, are being taken into uh, underground in a staircase kind of thing, but it is also like a road, and suddenly the car hits somewhere. What happens was after the car hits uh, the place, my mother. But if we all come out safely, my mother walks somewhere, and two ladies are are uh, giving are having a kind of uh, homemade you know home remedies for that to treat my mom's hand and uh, it was as if they have a banana uh, leaf and they ask us to apply ghee and turmeric powder on the on my mom's hand and uh, roll the banana leaf over my mom's hand you know when baba was um, uh, in Siridi, a very beautiful incident took place. It is in Sai Sacharita. I will uh, read it out for you. Meanwhile, this is the Saiba statue in my Sai friend's home in Mauritius. Oh, I hope you like it. So I will read out this beautiful uh, Sai Leela, which all of you might be familiar with. In the year 1910 AD, Baba was sitting near the Duni on Diwali holiday and warming himself. This Duni, the holy sacred fire. He was pushing firewood into the duni, which was brightly burning. A little later, instead of pushing logs of wood, Baba pushed his arm into the duni. The arm was scratched and burned, burnt immediately. This was noticed by servant Madhava and also Madhavra Deshpande, who is Sama. They at once ran to Baba and Madhavra clasped Baba by his waist from behind and dragged him forcibly backward and asked Deva, For what have you done this? Then Baba came to his senses and replied, The wife of blacksmith at some distant place was working the bellows of furnace. Her husband called her. Forgetting that her child was on her waist, she ran hastily and the child slipped into the furnace. I immediately thrust my hand into the furnace and saved the child. I do not my, mind my arm being burnt, but I am glad that the life of the child is saved. So Baba is uh, Antaryami. Why I always say that you must have, you must worship the ancient saints because they are antaryami. They, they get into each and every, every individual devotee's heart and soul and live there. So this blacksmith somewhere thousands of miles away, she was keeping a child, a little child in her uh, lap and she was doing, you know, uh, some work near the furnace and somehow unknowingly the, the child falls into the furnace imagine imagine how hot it will be but baba pushed, pulled his hand inside the duni and took off pulled his hands inside the furnace when he's when baba is pulling it putting his hands inside the duni he's actually going to that place thousands of miles away and pushing and pulling that child outside the furnace and saving the child from getting burned so this was this shows how beautiful are our saints. Their heart melts like wax. So whenever there is a problem, remember Baba is giving, Baba will do anything to save you and secure you from your difficulties. I will read on. Leopard devotee service, service. On hearing the news of Baba's hand being burned from Sama Madhavra Deshpande, Mr. Nana Sahib Chandorkar accompanied by famous Dr. Parmanand of Bombay with his medical outfit consisting of ointments, lint and bandage rushed to Sridi and requested Baba to allow Mr. Parmanand to examine the arm and dress the wound caused by, by the burn. This was refused. So a devotee, uh, Nana Sab Chandrogar, brings a famous Dr. Parmanand from Bombay but Baba says, no, I don't want this treatment. Ever since the burn was Ever since the burned arm was dressed by leper devotee Bagoji Sinde, his treatment consisted in the in massaging the burnt part with ghee and then placing a leaf over it and bandaging it tightly with patties bandages. You know. So this is what I wanted to tell you. The leper devotee Bagoji Sinde Sinde. You, for many years later, even after this incident took place, he used to massage Baba's. Uh, hand and he applies ghee over there and he rolls it with the banana leaf and you know ties it and the dream I had last night was as if when my mother's hand was in severe pain these days my mother has severe pain Baba is telling add ghee turmeric powder and, and circle it with the banana leaf and you know when you whenever I get a dream I used to wonder uh, whether it is true or not, whether it is really Baba telling me this dream or am I, am, I, am I just imagining stuff. So that is when Sai comes to my rescue. Today, I, I, I was just about to tell my mother, see, when you, if you have severe hand pain, we must try something like this. 
and my mother was busy with uh, this Ganesha Chaturthi work making uh, Kolukate and all. That is when suddenly we have a old man coming into our home to sweep, to home to sweep uh, uh, the garden. He came with the, in his cycle, he carried uh, the uh, banana stem, you know, when you keep the bananas, bananas bottom stem, it grows as a new tree. And he said, you know, I've got a banana st uh, tree stem so that if you want, I can plant it in your garden or I'll take it to temple. I immediately told him plant it in, my, in our garden itself. So it was a really a uh, connection. The what I saw in the dream and what happened in real, real was connecting with each other. And the Asa is a, is, is a master in doing this, you know, mending dreams with reality. Of course, I really have faced pains when I used to uh, wonder why some dreams never come true. But some of these dreams which actually come true and which uh, syncs with the reality makes me really happy. With this message, I wanted to tell you the most important uh, of, of these experiences. Baba, in your life, is the greatest blessing you could possibly ask for. So do not worry. Keep remembering Om Sai Ram, 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 Om Sai Ram.